Just as we celebrate with this class and pass its light to the next, we also take time at commencement every year to honor a select group of individuals who have also passed their light on to others in extraordinary ways. Earlier this semester, we presented the university's highest non-academic award, the Wittenberg Medal of Honor, to the Honorable William A. McLean, class of 1934, and we will do the same posthumously this fall for a beloved member of the Wittenberg community and former board member, Charles D. Weller, better known as Chad, who passed away last year. May their light continue to inspire current and future students for generations to come. Receiving an honorary degree from Wittenberg is also a distinct privilege, and we are pleased this year to confer honorary degrees on three remarkable human beings. I am now pleased to welcome Dr. Christian Raffensperger, Assistant Professor of History, who will present our first honorary degree candidate, Fritz Ehrmarth, Class of 1961. Aaron didn't change my book. Where are we? There we are. All right. Fritz Ehrmarth, you're a distinguished member of a family of scholars and Wittenberg alumni. Your academic achievements won you recognition in the Springfield City Schools at Wittenberg and at Harvard. You graduated from Wittenberg magna cum laude at age 20, and your many academic honors have included membership in Phi Alpha Theta and Ford and Wilson Fellowships. You've served your country through work with the RAND Corporation, Radio Free Europe, and for 25 years, the Central Intelligence Agency. As head of the National Security Council Strategic Planning Unit, as special assistant to President Reagan for Soviet and European Affairs, as chairman of the National Intelligence Council, and as director of national security programs at the Nixon Center. Your decades of work analyzing the Soviet Union and Eastern Europe earned you the Distinguished Intelligence Medal, the National Intelligence Distinguished Service Medal, as well as the respect of your colleagues. One of those colleagues calls you a towering intellect who combines great personal integrity with impressive expertise in international relations. An outstanding man who gave his professional life to the service of America's national interests. In your lifetime of scholarship and public service, you've made your family and your alma mater proud. You've more than fulfilled the expectations of those Wittenberg professors who described you six decades ago as a person of fine intellectual capacities, personal integrity and courage, a superior student with intellectual gifts of a high order and with considerable imagination and resilience in his thought processes, one of the most promising students I've ever sent up to graduate school. President Joyner, Fritz W. Ehrmacht. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors of Wittenberg University, I now confer upon you the degree Doctor of Humane Letters, admitting you to all rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereof. in Cheyenne, Wyoming at Frontier Days. <laughs> Watch for the picture. I am now honored to ask Dr. Dar Brooks Hedstrom, Associate Professor of History, to come forward. Dar will present our second honorary degree candidate, Michael Ehrmarth, class of 1965. Michael Ehrmarth, you exemplify the mission of Wittenberg University and your devotion to intellectual rigor and your commitment to undergraduate student learning in a life of university service. Following in the footsteps of your mother, Margaret Ehrmarth, a beloved Wittenberg history professor, 
You completed a degree in history at Wittenberg before earning a doctoral degree in history from the University of Chicago in 1973. In your professional life, you spent a career cultivating the liberal arts, serving the historical profession with your scholarship, and devoting your time to students at Dartmouth College from 1971 until your recent retirement. At Dartmouth, you taught German history and Jewish studies, but you also directed honors theses and chaired the history department. Your scholarly work has engaged difficult transnational issues of ethnicity, culture, and identity, especially in relationship to the lives of Germans, both at home and abroad. Yours is a life that embodies the liberal arts mission of creating the whole person. You combine a commitment to scholarship and teaching with a full life that en encompasses outdoor activities such as skiing and climbing. Music is another way in which you express your creativity. Most importantly, your colleagues and former students speak of the combination of erudition and generosity that you bring to your endeavors. Certainly these qualities show you to be the Wittenberg alumnus who understands the university's motto, having light, we pass it on to others. Michael, your commitment to helping enrich the lives of others, both in the United States and worldwide, makes us proud to name you as a distinguished member of the Wittenberg community. President Joyner, Michael Ermart. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors of Wittenberg University, I now confer upon you the degree Doctor of Humane Letters, admitting you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereof. I am now pleased to welcome Dr. Tom Kaplan, Professor of Business and Nest Chair in Entrepreneurship, who will present our final honorary degree candidate, Matthew R. Shea, Class of 1984. Matthew R. Shea, Class of 1984. You are an executive, leader, mentor, advocate, and engaged alumnus. In addition to your Wittenberg degree in political science, you are a graduate of the Ohio State University College of Law and hold a master's degree in business administration from Georgetown University's McDonough School of Business. As president and chief executive officer of the National Retail Federation, the world's largest retail trade association, you serve as chief advocate for more than 3.6 million U.S. businesses that employ more than 42 million workers and generate $2.5 trillion in annual sales. You have led the NRF to new levels of effectiveness on policy issues, increased awareness of the industry's economic impact, and effectively advocated for public policy on behalf of your members. Under your leadership, the Federation held the most successful convention in its 100-year history while scoring a number of legislative victories on behalf of the retail industry. You have been recognized by CEO Update as one of the top 50 nonprofit chief executives in Washington. Your service on a number of boards, including the U.S. Chambers, Chamber of Commerce Association Committee of 100, representing the nation's leading industry and trade groups, is especially notable. Your previous service as President and CEO of the International Franchise Association, representing more than 1,200 franchisors, resulted in an aggressive public policy agenda and led to a series of initiatives to restore the flow of credit to cash-strapped retail and other franchise businesses during the national recession. In your personal and professional life, you reflect the very best of Wittenberg University. President Joyner, Matthew R. Shea. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors of Wittenberg University, I now confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, admitting you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereof.
Ini I'll wear it on Capitol Hill.